fruit juice has been demonized, and I think it's really been guilt by association. Where, uh, and, and I think it's, it represents again a failure of the reductionist model or reductionism. Uh, it's really a consequence of it being attached with sugars. There's a real concern about sugars and sugar sweetened beverages. And fruit juice is being lumped in with that, and, and this is the guilt by association. Uh, instead of asking, well, does it apply? Uh, is it that all sources of sugars behave the same way as sugar sweetened beverages or show the same signal? Uh, instead of asking that question, it's just assumed that it does. And I think that that's a real concern because, especially when you look at the epidemiology seriously and you look at the trial evidence where we have data on fruit juice, we don't see that those signals are shared. So I think it's really been one of this reductionist model where it's, it's failed. I think it's also consumers, the public, the media, you know, as a physician, I see this with my own patients, wanting, you know, an easy answer, a single answer. They want one bad guy or one good guy. And, uh, you know, when it, if it's going to be about sugars or fat or salt, in this case, sugars, then everything that's a source of sugars, and just by uh, happenstance in this case, it's, it's fruit juice, is then guilty by association without really digging deeper to understand, well, is fruit juice in terms of its matrix and food form and the way it delivers and all the other nutrients that come with the sugar, does it actually share those, those same uh, concerns? And, and the answer right now is no, it, it doesn't.